The taste is like a very sweet rice whiskey. It is absolutely fantastic. Okay, today what we'll do is we'll make cow mark, which is a tr traditional Thai dessert made from glutinous sticky rice, which is fermented with a yeast culture starter, which gives it its alcoholic taste. Luk Pang, which is the yeast starter, is handed down from generation to generation. Now, Luk Pang is made from rice flour, pepper and galango. Well, I would say it's a traditional recipe which is handed down from generation to generation, but it's in decline. Now, cow mark used to be sold in all markets, but as with many traditional ways, um, it's just dying out. Anyway, I will show you how to make cow mark, the traditional alcoholic sweet fermented rice Thai dessert. Now try and say that when you've eaten uh, quite a few cow mark. Our fermented sweet alcoholic rice dessert always starts with sticky rice. Now this is a speeded up version of sticky rice and I will leave a link in the description and a card on so you can click on to actually make sticky rice okay then now we got our sticky rice we can start the procedure of uh, making our um, sweet fermented rice dessert um, we have to wash the sticky rice make sure there is actually no starch on it whatsoever but we have to do it very gently wash it all the way through rinse it a couple of times and then we drain it now we need to drain most of the moisture out of this so just rinse it drain it let it stand for a little while and then what we need to do is take our look pan, our starter culture and we need to smash it all up and grind it up into a powder now look pan, as we said before is handed down from generation to generation but you can actually buy what they call Shanghai yeast balls on Amazon and this uh, Shanghai yeast balls is used to make rice wine now that is exactly the same as the yeast balls that we are using here. Right, so basically what we do, after we've smashed it all up, we add half the yeast ball to our sticky rice and half a tablespoon of sugar. Now the yeast is going to feed off the sugar and we need to mix it all in. Then we need to add the remaining half of the look pang and the sugar mix that all in and then we're ready to go we're ready to make our traditional um, sweet fermented rice dessert now I'm making it a traditional way with banana leaves but you can actually just put it into a plastic tub now this traditional way um, you used to see in the markets everywhere but not anymore basically you just put it in the banana leaf and Pull the sides up and then pull the ends up and fold it over nice and gently and then we take another piece of banana leaf which we've cut into a strip which we will use with a cocktail stick um, to actually tie up um, and seal our uh, package of sweet fermented rice uh, which will ferment for two days. Now within the two days what will happen is that the, it will ferment inside the banana leaves um, and it will give off um, a little bit of alcohol fluid um, which obviously adds to the, all of this um, Thai dessert and makes it very very special. 
like I say you can actually do this into a plastic tub you can just put the rice into a plastic tub and leave it to stand for another three days and um, you will have the same effect but it is a better taste from um, fermenting in a banana leaf why I have no idea whether it's because there is more air being able to actually get to the rice to ferment I, I have no idea but the taste is slightly different and I actually do prefer the taste from fermenting in a banana leaf Right, here we are guys, this is our fermented uh, cow mark, this is our alcoholic rice in our banana leaves, now obviously the banana leaves uh, have gone a bit yellow because it's been fermenting for two days. Okay, let's give our alcoholic rice a taste test. As you can see, this is the alcohol juices of the fermented rice. So let's give this a try. Oh, oh, oh. oh. wow. Mmm. Mmm. You know, sometimes it's fantastic when you learn about a tradition. What we need to do is keep a tradition like this alive. Mm. The taste is like a very sweet rice whiskey it is absolutely fantastic now guys wow if you like what we're doing uh, making real Thai food like and subscribe and we'll see you next time Mm-hmm.